children welcome to today's session day 2 subject english topic parts of speech parts of speech you learned briefly in your earlier classes now in this session we will study in detail so what is parts of speech so before knowing anything we have to know the definition no children so let us learn what is the definition of parts of speech definition of parts of speech is words are divided words are divided into different kinds or classes called parts of speech once again i repeat words words are divided into different kinds or classes called parts of speech see while we are framing sentence while we are framing sentence we have to use parts of speech each words in sentence each words in sentence is belong belong to parts of speech for example mohan is running see mohan is now is running is verb so this each word in this sentence is is what parts of speech so that is why this each word is divided that word is divided no that we call it as a part of speech so let us move on to the next these are which are these means the parts of speech are classified into how many types there are how many kinds there are eight kinds of parts of speech how many kinds of eight parts of speech are there eight kinds of parts of speech is there so they are as follows that they are the eight kinds of parts of speech are they are noun pronoun verb adverb adjective preposition conjunction interjection so noun pronoun verb adverb adjective preposition conjunction interjection so children repeat along with me so which are these parts of speech they are noun pronoun verb adverb adjective preposition conjunction and interjection once again you repeat noun pronoun verb adverb adjective preposition conjunction and interjection okay let us study the definition of each parts of speech is separately each parts of speech that is eight parts of speech definition will learn now the first part the first part of speech is noun the first part of speech is noun so let us learn what is noun noun is a word used as the name of person place persons places animals and things see noun is a word used as the name of persons places animals and things so example all persons what is the meaning of all persons example all persons means you me your father mother so whom so ever for all the names we call it as noun and then all places you can say your house kitchen bathroom park isn't it country state district if whatever then that name of a country name of a city name of a all we call it as noun next all animals all the animals in the, on this earth we you call it as a what you call it as a noun so then next is all things whatever it is be pen or it is a board or it is a table it is watch all these are called things book so let me repeat once again what is noun noun is a word so the word which suggests all the names of a person all places all animals and things this we call it as a noun so have you all understood want to repeat once again noun is a word used as the name of a person name of persons places animals and things which name man all names not only you or me all names names all places all places are known all things are known all animals are known and all persons are known start 
types of noun are first one proper noun second one common noun third one collective noun fourth one abstract noun so types of noun are first one proper noun common noun collective noun abstract noun so what is the definition of proper noun the name of particular person things places isn't it the what is proper noun the name of particular person particular person places and things example names of all men all men isn't the names of all men for example mohan murli uh, krishna peter isn't it and names of all women sumati suchila saroja whatever it is and then name of places name of places means country states for example india america london bangalore all these are name of places and then name of things so name of things book chair all these are name these are the proper proper if i say mohan mohan is a paper name proper name of that person if i say bangalore it's a name of a city it's a place so that is the example for the proper noun so what is the proper noun once again the name of particular person particular place and particular things and particular animals etc have you all understood next we we'll move on to the next one common noun so what is common noun so commonly you will call instead of instead of calling all the names what we call it as girls a girl boy man woman so it is common isn't it so and then if you if it comes to the place what we we'll call it as states countries so that is common isn't it so what is common noun common noun a name given to every person in a class what do you call it as we we'll call it as student it is commonly called student and then for some girl we we'll call it as girl boy man woman it is common so that we call it as common and then if it comes to the place instead of saying that place name we'll say what state country continent all these we call it as a common noun so let us move to the collective noun the name of a number of person now what is that number of person? a group together a number of things group together a number of animals group together that we call it as a collective noun so what is that a flock of sheep what is that flock of sheep a flock of sheep is a group of sheep a herd of cattle a herd herd is nothing but a, a cat that is in the that is in group that we call it as herd of cattle and then what we call it as family so what is it a number of people present in one roof we call it as a family like father mother children grandfather that we call it as a family so that is the example for collective family army a group of soldiers are called army isn't it a group of members are called family a group of uh, cattle are called herd a group of sheep are we call it as flock flock of sheep isn't it so that we call it as collective noun collective means a group a number of person a number of things and then for example a bundle of sticks isn't it but that is the thing a bundle of sticks is called bundle we call it as and then a, a group of flowers together we call it as bouquet isn't it have you all understood collective noun next we'll come to the next one abstract noun so it says the name of a quality action or state that doesn't have the life that you can feel you can feel but you cannot see that one so for example happiness can you you are happy can you see the happiness 
no no so that is the abstract and then what is sadness you are feeling sadness but you cannot see pain you cannot see isn't it so that we call it as abstract noun so these are the types of noun they are proper noun the proper noun is the name of a particular person place or things common noun commonly we call it as the name given to every very every person every place isn't it and things collective nouns a group of group of people or a group of things or group of animals we call it as a collective noun abstract noun it will be for the quality and then state or action that we call it as a what abstract noun right. second part of speech is pronoun second part of speech is pronoun first you already learned noun and different kinds different kinds of noun also you learned now now it is a pronoun a pronoun is a substitute for a noun what is the meaning of substitute substitute you know instead of instead of substitute means instead of you you have to uh, the same noun only instead of name you will write pronoun isn't it so a pronoun is a substitute for a noun pronoun means for a noun what is the meaning of for that noun you are writing something for a noun you are writing something so what is a pronoun a pronoun is a substitute do you know what is substitute while you are playing cricket if you are not able to play you will take some other player to play here is also you instead of noun the play the uh, uh, game will not stop the game will be going but instead of you someone will come here is also instead of noun pronoun will come in that place so now what is pronoun now pronoun means for a noun for a noun for now you are writing pronoun the meaning won't change instead of repeating the same thing for in a paragraph many times we we'll use the pronoun so what is that see here only example ram helped raja see ram is what now it's a name of a person isn't it already you learned so raja is also now he is that is also name of a person so instead of here ram what you have what we have written here he he means who is here ram only ram what he had done he helped who whom he helped raja instead of raja we wrote him so this he and him is pronoun who is that he and him is pronoun so here instead of we have substituted whose name rama's name instead of he so instead of raja we wrote him so this he and him is known as pronoun like i you we it all these are the pronouns so now we'll let's complete little bit more about the pronoun in parts of speech you have to learn three types of persons so which are these three types of persons that is first person second person third person so three types of persons are first person second person third person first person singular you all know what is the meaning of singular if it is one is there we call it as singular if plural that is many more than one we call it as plural singular if it is i in the first person if the singular is i the first person plural will become we what is this i and we the one who speaks i speak we spoke isn't it see next one so what is the first person singular i then first person plural will be we what is that one one who speaks i speaks we speak isn't it so next one is the second person second person singular is you and then second person plural is you so here in the second person the singular and plural or change it will be the same 
singular is also you and plural is also you so what is that mean here in the first person the person speaks in the in, in the second person what one who hears or one who listens isn't it second person what he listen first person what he speaks first person he speaks second person he listens the third is the third person singular is he she it he the first person the second person the third person is singular he she it and then plural become he is also they she is also become they and it is also become they in plural in third person singular if it is he the plural become they if it is in third person singular she is a plural you have to write they if it is third person it the plural will be they what is that one who spoken of so already you have you have, you have spoken that is the third person so how many persons are there in this there are three types of person first person second person third person first person has singular and plural first person singular is i first person plural is we second person singular is you and then second person plural is also you only third person singular is he she it and then the plural of third person is they okay let us complete this session today and then remaining parts of speech we will discuss in our next session thank you children and go through once and if you have any doubt you can clarify okay thank you children bye